Tara and Bailey, one stitch at a time. Welcome back. Um, this is our January um, edition of everything that happened in January. Did you have anything going on in January? No. No. <laughs> she didn't stitch in January. That's okay. I think they were making clay beads. Those necklaces. That's the uh -huh. all the rage now or whatever. So, they've been having fun doing that. They've had friends over and all of that. So, um, but she's going to help me show all of um, my haul and what I've been working on. And, um, of course, we have some giveaways. Her finger hurt. Her finger hurt. She just slammed it in the little light here. So, kisses. <laughs> Okay, so welcome back. Like I said, this is uh, falsy number nine for us. And if you are coming back, welcome back. And if you're new, we hope you enjoy what you see. We hope that you subscribe to our channel. It is growing um, every day. We have new subscribers, so uh, we'd like you to join us. So subscribe, hit the bell, like, comment. We love the comments. Oh, mm -hmm. we forgot to do the drawing for the last month's giveaway before we started recording. That's okay. We'll do it afterwards and uh, add it to the end of the video. So um, stay tuned for that if you um, entered into the last giveaway. All right, what do we want to start with? We want to do haul first or because we kind of have a big pile over here and we kind of get it out of our way and that way we can get into uh, the whips I have an FFO and do starts and no 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 not an FFO an FO you know I don't finish anything yet so so haul mm -hmm. all right so we have, first off... Oh, I thought it was going to be heavy. Oh, no. Hang on. Let's take it out of the package. Because there's a reason I got this. But everybody has one. It is the Cone of Doom. Yep. The big Cone of 310. Um, I do have some new... Well, some kitted up projects that didn't get started this month. But they are ready for when they are spun on our wheel. And did you just mess that up? No, it was locked up. Oh, okay. That's why I said it irritated me. <laughs> there were strings hanging and she's playing with them. Girl, don't mess this up. I'll never get it back the way it is. So, yeah. This will probably be used in the projects that I have planned out for when they're spun on the wheel or if they're going to be a focus project for the month because they are big ones. Yeah. But y'all won't see on this video because I didn't start them. <laughs> um, the next thing is we got from B Stitch Me. It's going to be a little crinkly. Hang on, I should have took it, take, took in this out. But I've been waiting since October to get this because I did special order it. Um, it's called... Loose wine, and you can see all the sparkles in there. And there is this is what what's it say on the card? What what? A uh, sixteen count. Sixteen count. So Ada, right? Ada opalescent. Oh, opalescent. That means it's sparkly. Opalescent. Oh, so this is, um, and I'll put a picture up here because obviously I haven't started it yet. But this is gonna be the. Um, it's by the Cross Stitch Studio, and I can never read. Heart of Music? I don't know. I just call it Music Notes. But this is a picture of it. And this is going to be not for this year, but it'll be next year because both of them will be in choir next year because she'll start the junior high next year. And um, so this will be a piece for their choir teacher from both of them. Because I'm not going to get it done by this. Stormy's in choir this year, but there's no way I'm going to get this done by school end. So, 
anyway, um, she did have to dye it, and I did, on her website, it does say that there's going to be several, several weeks uh, for a wait, and um, I got this last week, maybe last week, I think, and I ordered it in October, so there's kind of the, the timeline for you if you are going to order from Be Stitch Me, but it is, it's wonderful, it's lovely. I and it's the perfect color because their school colors are this maroon and actually that's what it's gonna that's the color scheme right there that and my shirt <laughs> so we're going to find a um now that i've got the the uh fabric we can now go through and pick out the color that the music notes will be in um so it'll be the school colors cool cool so that's gonna be gold yeah, the music notes will be this color. Oh. Oh. I wouldn't remember when you got it anyways because I forgot half the stuff I knew you when I was sick. I know. I know. Um, let's see. One, two, three, stitch. These are 22 count hard hangers. Again, this is for a couple projects that I have kitted up but haven't started yet because y'all didn't roll them on the wheel. Spin. I meant spin them on the wheel. You know what I meant. So, there's that. And then, I'm going to take those out while I'm doing this other stuff, just so they can see them. I take them out of the little bags, too? Yeah, except for this one, and... Why not? Because they're gifts, and I don't want to show them on here, because somebody might see them. I think, okay. <laughs> I know which one. I need to know she'll watch. Okay, so I did make a trip to Hobby Lobby because I was buying tons of threads for all of the, y'all know I got those project bags, those bigger ones. Everything one of them is filled. And most of them except one have all the colors they need in it as far as the thread. So when I went to Hobby Lobby, the lady, I think it was like, yeah, it was like 250 skeins of DMC that I bought. So I looked at the lady and I was like, you know, they used to have to individually scan all of those. And Michael's and Joanne's may still do that. But Hobby Lobby, they just count them and just do a full count. They don't have to scan them individually. So I was like, I saw her I said, you know, thank goodness y'all don't have to do that anymore. She said, I know. <laughs> so anyway, and I also picked up the DMC color card, which actually has come in handy. And we'll tell you why here in a minute. There we go. Oh, you can be in front of it. It's kind of cute. All right. So, I finally broke down and bought one of those. Thank you, Denise. Uh, yes. Okay. And then, here, we can use this, use this fabric, and that can way... Can take it off the pink thing? No, you don't have to. And then, I ordered some, um, needle minders from a lady I've bought from before, and I, I don't know what I do with her card. So, if you want to put it in front of there, and then hold it up, that way it'll, it'll, um... It should focus. So how cool is that? I found one with our channel name on it. Cool? Cool. It didn't go into the check mark. Like... What did you do? Drop one? Yeah. Okay. And the next one. She's got to get her fingers right. Got a little gingerbread house. I think she was having a sale on these. It was like five for 15 or something like that. Two of them I can't show you because they're gifts. And the third one is... A little hot cocoa. Oh, the hot cocoa cup. So, so cute. So, we'll add them. Oh, I had to move my big tea that has my needle minders on it. I'll show you why in a second. 
hopefully it's oh, kind of yeah. messy over here we just i did some rearranging i did some organizing of my fabric i may have to do that in a different video because it's like i threw everything over here to oh, get no. it out of here okay all right let's see i'll save that from last now y'all know i order stuff from aliexpress and they have some like Q-snap. They're not Q-snap, of course. But I did order a new frame. And for the life of me, I have no idea because I never use, I use like the 8 by 8s I use the 11 by 17s I use the 11 by 11s And this one is a 17 by 17. I don't know why I got that size, but I know. Now, I did get another frame oh, wait, I have floor, that floor sand. Uh, it's that Edmunds. Um, I guess it's the Edmund. I, I can't think. It starts with an F, doesn't it? You, don't, don't, know. you don't know. Frank Edmund, maybe? One of those stands? Anyway, so I got one of those. And it, when I put it together, it was like really short. And I'm rather tall. I'm 5'11". But I guess sitting in this chair, in my office chair, it was way shorter than I wanted to. But in my recliner, it's like perfect, perfect. So um, I think these will be okay because I, obviously I can't hold this in my hand and try to stitch on it. It's just the purpose that I use a Q-snap for is to double hand stitch. So it always it needs to be on a frame unless it's the, like the little eight by eight ones. I can hold that and, and stitch with one hand. It's no big deal. Is that what you did with the um? His name is Jesus Boy. You held it. In that one shape. was on eleven by eleven, but I was taking that one to church, so I obviously couldn't take a big floor stand to church with me. So, I mean, I, I made it work, but it wasn't comfortable I should say so anyway we're gonna see how these are as far as quality wise is too um I have no idea how much they were on there compared to Amazon or you know what have you and for some reason now last time I bought like 11 count because I had an idea with that but for some reason I don't know why I bought this, but this is 28 count fabric that I did get from AliExpress. I don't know why I got it. Oops. I don't know what my thought was because all the stuff I have kitted up, I have fabric ready for. So maybe I just had the thought of seeing if the quality was okay for it. And again, I have no idea how much I paid for it, but. It's 145 by 100 centimeters, so I have no idea what that is in inches. So, anyway, we'll see. We'll test it out. All right. Now, I do have a little bit more. However, yeah, I'm dropping things. However, um, this is more of, I've got into Como Stitches on Instagram, her, fat, her bag of the month club so I got my first bag in January and absolutely ooh another needle miner I know right hold up the bag no 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 For, back first okay yeah how cute and adorable is that yep now I'll turn it around stuff in it. now I've already got a project in it but I haven't started it yet but we'll get to that later hang on well, I gotta, we gotta take this out because Jess did send this. Um, oh, did I take them out? Take one out. Well, she sent two. Oh, I guess I did. We're gonna take that out. Okay, sorry. Um, but anyway. This is the inside of the bag. Here's the vinyl front. Very, very durable, very sturdy. 
So anyway, with the bag of the month, she also sent a needle winder. So you may need to, you need to focus that somehow. The little truck. Oops, the little truck. <laughs> She sent that, and she also sent two DMC flosses, but I must have taken them out already and put them in my stash because this is all the floss for the project that's in here now. These matters are so. Fun. If you're thinking about bag of the month, in fact, um, she should be getting ready to send out our February bags now. But um, she did say it's not going to be another heart one. She said it's an everyday one, so kind of excited to see. What that's gonna be. Take that part, see how hard it is. Oh, is it hard? Oh dear. She if she made this, that's a pretty good magnet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I smashed my other thing with that too. I'm sorry. Okay. So there's that. Now, um, of course I did put on my Instagram of because I was thinking about a fabric of the month or a floss of the month. I still haven't decided. I think I'm going to lean more towards the fabric of the month because the floss of the month, I mean, if it's called for, like this one here calls for the one I haven't started yet, and it's a um, country cottage need to work, so they, they usually have one or two in there. I went ahead and ordered it. Um, it's the Gentle Arts, the Spring Grass. It's going to be a little spring project. I kind of order them as they're needed. If you get what I'm saying. Like, I don't want a whole collection and then they just never get used. Which I know a lot of designers are going to the, the general arts. the um, All those other ones. I've heard of. I can't think of the names of them right now, but um, I don't know. I think I'm just going to do that. I think I'm going to lean more towards the fabric. I just now have to find which company I want to go with as far as the fabric I want to get every month. All right. So that is, that's all of the haul, huh? I got everything down. I didn't get anything new. Yeah, you didn't get anything new other than all your clay bead stuff y'all been making those clay beads they make um bracelets, bracelets and necklaces stormy may appear at earrings for me for our cruise you were going on carnival cruise line so you know their color scheme is red white and blue so she made me some little earrings uh she said i could wear on the cruise <laughs> i'll have to show those next time maybe she did when I don't know. oh i remember yeah okay where are we going now Finished objects? Yes. All right. We have one. And actually, um, this was one of the Whipgo, my number six, which was, oh, that's something on my camera. I thought there's something on my, you see that? <laughs> Y'all don't see it. Anyway, um, my number six was to finish the Primrose Cottage Autumn Rules. And I'm going to put a picture up here of where y'all last saw it. And I worked for like, I worked six days on it. Ooh, we're going to have to bring our notes over here. I can't read them all the way over there. Okay. I'm sorry. Um... I worked six days on it and put 4,290 stitches in it. And I finished it January 9th, um, which was the goal. So, you know, that's kind of a long piece. But there's that. And then I will we'll kind of go up from here so y'all can see all the details. It's turned out so cute. And the fabric is 28 count. Oh, I can't lift that high. What is it? 28 count? Yeah, 28 count. Cashel? Relic? Uh, yeah, relic. Yeah, picture this plus fabric. So there it is. We did get a finish and we did get the first Whipgo goal made.
So that's all I had. That's all I have for the finished objects. Who thought? Of course, we'll see when it gets fully finished. So, all right. So now we're going to who's start? new stars. Hey, you want to tell them the total stitches for the month? Um, the total stitches for the month was 25,384. Pretty good. I stitched my little heart out this month. I did. And it's because, one, I had to get that done. Um, I wanted to get, of course, I had to work on my other WIPCO project. Um, which actually I'll probably go ahead and, since we're on the WIPCO subject, I'll show you the other one. It's not a finish, but I completed the goal. <laughs> Of course, then I had the um, the cross stitch studio challenge for January. Um, then I had some twenty four hours weekends that Alicia at Adventures of, of Stitching um, threw for one of the weekends. It wasn't necessarily you had to do twenty four hours, which I didn't, but it was just like just a mad dash to get to a certain goal. So. Um, that really helped. That really helped because I did work on my humility, the lion, which I'll show you here in a little bit. Um, the other whip go since we're on that subject was my number 10 and it was the signs of fall project. And I had to get a thousand stitches in it in a month. And if y'all have seen in past videos, this one is kind of a headache. I like it. But it is kind of a headache. Um, hold on. I have loose, loose things. So we'll go ahead and show this one. It is a one of my whips, but I'll go ahead and show it. Um, this is what it will look at when it's finished. And the last time you saw it. And here is where we are now. And my main focus was those flowers. <laughs> look at the flower. Can you see that? Huh. The flowers look dead. <laughs> they look dead. They look wilted. Look at that. Can you tell? Don't they look wilted? <laughs> That's funny. I didn't even see notice that. But anyway. You could see my hand before. Oh, really? So anyway, I did get the thousand stitches in. Of course, like I said, I did get it all. Most... Uh, Actually, all thousand stitches was in the <laughs> the wilted looking flowers. They won't look like that when they're when it's done. I promise. <laughs> Hopefully, that's funny. All right, so that's my whip go, and then uh, I'll talk about everything else later as far as all the plans for February, because of course you know whip go will fall into that too. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to new starts. New starts. All right. I'm excited. You're excited. I'm I know. All right. Now this one is called Winter Lantern. Winter Lantern, and here is a picture of what it will look like when it is done. Get a good look at it, because. That doesn't even look anything like the picture. Of course, you know I'm a cross country stitcher, so um, can you tell them the details of this one? Like what it's stitched on and all that kind of good stuff? Huh? Tell them the details of it, what it's stitched on and everything. Oh, the designer is Anna Kate Cat. Arena Cats. I think Arena. it's a rush. It's a, this is a Russian. Pattern. And I really couldn't tell you where I found this. I've had it for a while. Arena Cats, white, the fabric it on, it's on is white Ada. 14 count, 2 for 1. Um, She started January 27th. She stitched on it for 2 days and got 784 stitches. She's beginning to get a pro with this, huh? Mm -hmm. She knows what she's talking about. Okay. Next, hide. hide rules. Now, this is one that I am um, stitching with um, Holly, the cross stitch addict, cross stitching addict, or cross stitch addict. 
I'll link them down below. But um, we started this. This is our new Sunday stitch. So she started hers, and um, here's what it will. Here's what it'll look like. I'll tell you more in a minute. Um, when it's done, Primrose Cottage, Primrose Cottage Hive Rules, and here is where I'm at. It is turning out adorable. Now I'm having to actually take this as sections because if anyone knows how I stitch, I, I mean, I could have gotten way more than this done, but I'm trying to limit myself and I'm trying just to do little sections. So like the first section I did was this hive, the word hive, the two little flowers and a beehive. And then the next Sunday it was rules and the two little bees and the little, whatever that you want to call it. And then the third Sunday was these, this little flower border right here. And then last weekend, last Sunday I missed it. I don't remember why, but I did. So anyway, that's where we, that's where I am. So, but go ahead and tell them the, um, the fabric it's on is Ivory Ada. It's 18 count to the one. Started January 8th, stitched on it for three days and got 844 stitches. Right. So remember what I told you about the fabric? The higher the count, so you, we're on 18 count, the smaller your project's gonna be. And see like this one, the one I just showed of the lantern. That's well, a, I knew that, I just didn't know it was on 18 count. Oh, okay. Set. okay. So, Okay, so yeah, I mean it's gonna be no bigger than than that. So it's not gonna be as long as it's gonna be longer than this. <laughs> it's not gonna be as long as the autumn rules, which is fine. Because honestly, at this point, after I went through all my fabric and organized it, if anybody catches me buying fourteen count fabric, I should be in trouble. Ooh. I have tons of 14 count so I need to use it I have other counts but good heavens to Betsy I that was ridiculous when I got in there digging and looking at all that all right next I'll go on that one huh? okay wonderful spark is the next one um we call it wonderful spark it's actually called um it's the most wonderful spark. Um, here is a picture of what it will look like. And here is, I didn't get too, too far on this one. It's a Sue Hillis design. And so here's where we are. It's just the D and wonderful. So you want to tell them the um, the fabric is on is White Ada. It's 14 count variable one. She started January 20th, worked on it for one day, and got 267 stitches. Right. I almost went down to the one. Now, this will be a fun little easy. Um, it's bigger than what I thought. Of course, I am doing it on 14 count to get rid of it. Um, so. But that's okay. And you know that she, there, there's three other patterns that go along with that, huh? Yeah. Oh, that go along with that. One is, um, it's the most wonderful time of the year. That's Christmas. It's the most wonderful feast of the year. It's Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving. And the most wonderful, It's October. It's a Halloween one. I don't remember what that one was. Anyway, there's four of them. So that's like the 4th of July one. It's the most wonderful spark. It'll have, obviously, the uh, fireworks and stuff on it. Next is winter. Okay. This one winter, sorry. is a Doreen Jones pattern. And it is free on her Facebook group. However, um, my group, the Dash to Dish Dash, even though it is a selling group, um, we decided to um, have a little stitch along within the group. 
um, for the beginning of the year. So January 1st, um, we put the pattern on ours with the permission of Miss Doreen. And so um, one lady has actually finished it. She posted on there that she finished it, but she is adding some beads on there. I'll do beads, but it's really cute. And she actually um, is doing hers on white. Um, and then I think she used a variegated blue thread. But anyway, mine, uh, this is what it'll look like when it's done. And so this is as far as I have gotten on mine. And of course the light's gonna blow out a little bit, but there is some there is some purple, purple in there. Uh, right on the tip end, like right, right there, there's some purple. So I think once, you know, everything is uh, completed, that'll all. I know we went orange for a minute, didn't we? <laughs> That's because I held something up in front of the camera. But anyway, so that's where I'm at on there. You want to give them the details? It's on Navy Ada, 14 count, there one. She started on January 2nd. Um, that she went for one day and got 493 stitches. Right. And actually all that is, is called for. That's the colors that she has for her pattern. Um... I didn't change anything, so. All right, next. Um, she's excited about this. Well, one. How do you pronounce the word? Kind of called butterfly. Oh, gradient. Gradient butterfly. Okay. By who? And give them details while it's, I sit here and situate this. It's by Artie. Artisy. Artisy. It's on White Ada, eighteen count, two over one. Started on January 24th, stitched on it for one day, and got 723 stitches. And here's a picture of what it'll look like. No, no, no. Yes, yes. Let me do this. Here's a picture of what Artisy's pattern looks like of the gradient butterfly. And then I asked Bailey twice. First time I asked her, I said, do you want these colors? She said, yeah, that's fine. I said, okay. And those colors just aren't her, and I knew that they weren't. So I asked her again. I said, are you sure this is the colors that you want? And that was the same day. She rolled this, so I had to start it on the wheel. It was the same day that I got this, and I took it over to her, and she was like, ooh. She opened it up. She was like, she was like all excited. Ooh. That was literally her reaction. Ooh. <laughs> so she sat there and um, she wanted it blue. I can't do this backwards. Wait, it may be over here. Oh, yeah, uh, I'm under it. There it is. Hang on. I said, I told her, I said, pick out the darkest blue that you want. And so she picked out, I remember. Three eleven. Yeah. And I said, okay. I said, but you see how it fades. You know that red on the on the original one faded up to yellow. I said, but it so it faded. I said, so do you want it to fade to a different color, a pink or something like that? She said, no, I want it all blue. So basically, what we did is we took three eleven. I can't read it. I can't read upside down. Three eleven. And I said, okay, well, we're just going to go up seven colors because it calls for seven colors. So, here is what hers is going to look like. And I think she did a fabulous job picking out her colors. And here is where I am so far. You can't tell. This is the middle. I started in the middle. Oh. So, it's the middle of the well, butterfly. the bottom. No. Well. If you turn it that way, it'll take the bottom. No, I started in the middle. So actually, I haven't done even started three eleven yet. This that, that's seven, why I said this is five seventeen. Right. So that's the middle, one of the middle colors that you had chosen. So 
this is the body and of course this is part of the wing somewhere is that wing over there so that one's going to be fun and it's pretty easy and she's excited about that one of course when i started that one i do have a um one for stormy picked out it's of course of a cow and that one hasn't been rolled, so she's kind of upset that it, that one hasn't been started yet. It's ready. It just hasn't been started yet. Okay, next. Tree we had a lot of starts this month. Tree Silhouette. Tree yeah. Silhouette by... Artisy. By Artisy. And here's what it'll look like whenever it's done. And I bet you, if I look through all of my pictures of when we went out on the lake, because our lake is full of cypress trees, full of them. And I bet I have a picture almost exactly like this one. Because we go out, not at night, because we don't have a light on the boat, but, um, you know, with the sunset and everything and the colors in the sky, I bet I have a picture almost exactly like this one if we look. My Ms. Danifel, our music teacher, she has a picture of that abandoned house out there. She painted it. What abandoned house? You know, the one that Jeffrey used to drop us off at? Oh, yeah. He used to try That's to pretty it. cool. Cool. Okay, so tree silhouette, and it was only spun one time, so I only got the one, one day on it. And that's, that's all I've gotten. I did start, as you noticed, up in the top left-hand corner, which is not normal for me. But the tree <laughs> is all black. <laughs> and I don't mind it. I just, I don't know. I just wasn't in a black mood. This was purple. You know, I like fishing purple. So that's where I wanted to start it. So that's what we did. Uh, details? Um, it's white. The fabric is white cashew. It's 28 count, two over two. She started on January 17th, stitched on it for one day, and got 568 stitches. Not bad, not bad. Alright, and this one, actually, it is a new start, but, and I wasn't going to do these. I really wasn't. And then, all you guys, I've seen y'all's temperature charts, and... I was like, I don't know, I had mixed feelings about it. Like, I don't know if I would like it. Um, I don't know if it's something that I would hang up, I guess. But anyway, I went on Etsy. And the store name is Stormy Girl Stitches. Stitching. I will definitely link it below. Um, which is kind of funny because, you know, her sister's name is Stormy. My other daughter's name is Stormy. It's spelled different. It, uh, hers is, um, the one on Etsy is S-T-O-R-M-I-E. Stormy's S-T-O-R-M-Y. But anyway, that's not why I bought it. <laughs> um, this is the one that she had in her Etsy store. And I thought it was very cute. The bumblebees and the butterflies. It was something different. I haven't seen anyone else doing it. And I thought, you know, I'm just going to, I'll try it for this year. If I don't like it this year, I won't do it again. So, um, here is where I am. Hang on, my thread's going to fall everywhere. And, of course, I didn't start this first of January, so I am playing catch up. So, this is where I am now. And, <laughs> of course, I'm doing this on, is it 14 count? Oh, yes, ma'am. 14 count, and it's a light blue, Ada. And I didn't think about it, but these, um, the beehive things right here, they all have fractional stitches in it. <laughs> so, which is not that bad once I get caught up. All these, oh, and she did, have, of course, have a set temperature 
color scheme for on her pattern. I didn't go for that. And I also, instead of every 10 degrees, I think I went every, well, I did go every five degrees and I wanted it in more of her, her colors were pretty bold and I wanted mine more pastel -y. So I knew the perfect person that could help me. Um, his name is Juan Garcia and he, um, he's like an artist, I guess you would say. Um, I'm going to put all of his information down below, but, um, his wife, Ashley Garcia, the stitching penguin here on, uh, Floss Tube, um, she did a temperature chart and I remember that he took her temperature chart and rearranged all the colors. So he was awesome with this. He came up with like six color schemes and sent them to me and I just chose the one that I liked. And I told him, you know, I wanted them pastels and, um, you know, how many colors I would need for the every five degrees or whatever. So then <laughs> I had to figure out something else. Since I didn't start this on January 1st and I had no intentions on doing it, I had to figure out, okay, how do I get the past temperatures for my area? So I took a shot in the dark and I just emailed our meteorologist here from our news channel, Rachel Penton. Yeah, <laughs> I emailed her. <laughs> I told her, I said, I know this is probably the oddest request that you have ever gotten, but I am doing a project and I need to see if you can send me the past temperatures from January 1st to whatever day it was. And she sent it to me. And she also sent me the link to um, where I can go every single day and see what the recorded high temperature was for that day. Now, if I do this again, um, I may do the next one with highs and lows. So we'll see. I don't know. This one, I'm really actually enjoying this. The only thing I didn't like, I had to do though, as you know, all these, um, the beehive things are basically backstitch and then you have to fill it in. And I don't like doing that because sometimes your cross stitches go over your back stitch. So you have to kind of be careful with that. But unless they were there, there's, because there's fractional stitches in there, I think it would just look all lumpy dolled and it wouldn't look right. So, um, there it is. And also I think instead of putting my color code, like what was on the um, model stitch, um, over here, because I have so many different colors, I have like 20, 25 different colors. I don't remember. Anyway, I think I'm just going to take the butterflies that are over here and just flip them and put them over there. And then maybe in the back of the frame or something, I'll put the color code in there and maybe the, what the highs were that day, like make a list or something. I don't know. Anyway, so sort of that. But I'm telling you, one was great, and um, he does some great, great work. So, go and check his website out. Was that my last new start? Mm -hmm. Oh, that was still a lot. How many was that? Like seven? One, two, three, four, five. Seven new starts. Not bad, not bad. Oh, you're drawing on my paper. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now we are going to get into whips. <laughs> so, of course, one of my whips was the Signs of Fall that I showed you earlier. Um, so don't don't do that one or that one, and. Where did I do this one? Time out. <laughs> Gang planning over here. All right. Skip that. And I'm going to do that last. Okay. And then start with this one. No. Okay. No, no. Start with the first one. 
Start with that first one. That's fine. Okay. So, the first quilt we worked on, goodness gracious, we didn't, we didn't get together on our plan with that one. Um, I'll go ahead and, um, I'll go ahead and talk about Whipco. Uh, I was going to do that in my plans, but I'll go ahead and talk about it here. Um, Whipco numbers that were called for February are 7 and 11. So my number 7 is the hearts and spools. Here's the, um, what it'll be, what it'll look like when they're completed. Now there's two patterns. Um, I'm doing the one that says so many hearts first and here's what it looked like the last time you saw it and here's what it looks like now and the goal for this one is I have to finish this one there's not a lot to finish it as far as the cross stitching is concerned um, but there is back stitching so that'll take me it, it shouldn't take me too, too long. And then, on top of that, I have to start the other one and put in at least 200 stitches within the month of February. Not a big deal. I took, this one is an easy travel piece. Like when I go to pick up kids or um, doctor's appointments, things like that. I read things Um, You can't, know. No, you can go ahead and go on the details of it, huh? It's on 14 count white Ada, three over one, Sue Hills Designs. She worked on it for one day and got 148 stitches for the month. For the month. Right. Okay. Skip down to this one. Okay. Uh, we're going to skip down this one because this was my number, this is my number 11 on my lip go board. And it is the Cricut Collection, um, October. And for this one, I have to get a goal of, well, I have to finish three of the letters within February. Let's see. And here's the last time you saw it. And there it is right now. So I start in the middle and I'm working to the right. So this will be the R. This is the R over here. Um, I do need y'all's help with something first though. This weather, this is a weather vane right here. If it was ironed, it looked better. Anyway, this is a weather vane. Um, has an arrow or whatever. There is a skull there that you're supposed to put. And I am not big into skulls, skeletons, bones, things like that. It's just kind of gross to me. So, I'm trying to figure out what I want to put up there. And... A witch's hat. Or a bird. A witch's hat? I don't know. What do y'all think? Or, there is a button pack for this, and I don't really know what's included. I know there's a couple of leaves in it. I don't know if there's a pumpkin, because I thought about putting a pumpkin up there. And also, there is, of course, this is the R, and or it goes up pink. here, like that. And right in the middle of it, there's another skull. <laughs> so, I may just leave the middle of the R blank, and not just put anything there. Um, I don't know. I've got some, a few decisions to make, make for that. So, um, anyway, that's where I am now. So my goal is going to be basically to finish the R and what do I have left? The OC, OCT, October. yeah, OCT, um, at least get the T and the C done. So, we'll see. We will see. It's actually a lot of color changes in, that, in these. You wouldn't think it was. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, that's my number 11. Now go back to the 
the second one, this one. Hmm? Oh, go ahead. It's Her on details. 28 count Cash Show Relic, two over two, the Cricut Collection. She worked on it for one day, got 578 stitches. There you go. All right. And the next one is another one of my quick little travel things. In my opinion, honestly, I should have had it done by now, but I do not And it is Love Letters. Here's a picture of when it will, or what it will look like when I'm done. And a picture of the last time you saw it. And then, I know, I know, I'm so close. Here's what it looks like now. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I added all of this. And I haven't looked at my previous pictures before I started this. I want to say maybe here too, that border. I've been working on this border, like pretty heavy. So, and then there's one motif that fills up this whole thing. So, and then this part of the border where the words are continues down here and up here. And then there's one motif right there. So, I should be done with this by now. <laughs> All right, your details. It is on 14 count, off-white Ada, 3 over 1, Dixie Falls, it was a magazine, um, she worked on it for 3 days and got 902 stitches. And I'm using uh, DMC 603 for the color. Alright, next one is the Harvest Falls Sampler, Home. Harvest Home Sampler, sorry. Um, here's a picture of what it'll look like. And where you saw it last. And one moment. I'm trying to get this where I can hold it easier. And where I am now. So, finally finished those pairs. <laughs> I don't know why it took me so long to do them, but it did. So and then I finished the one little um, band at the bottom as well. So now I'm getting ready to start the next. I think it's more words and and wheat. So I think it's something more like this. So there it is. And do you have details? Just on 26 count, Cash Hill Platinum, 202, Lewis Winston. She worked on it for one day, got 347 stitches. Lewis Winston was the designer, and it's from the Leisure Arts Magazine, October 1990. No, 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 I'm sorry. The Cross Stitch Magazine, October 2003. Okay, um, it's sitting over here, <laughs> and you know, we don't have a lot of room in here, so here is what humility looks like when it is going to be done, and as I said before, January was the one of the months for our stitching challenge in the Cross Stitch Studio group, and of course, this is the one I worked on, this is the only one that I've started from the Cross Stitch Studio. And um, here's what it looked like at the end of September. Is where I, this is where I ended at the end of September. Haven't worked on it since then. Worked on it all the way through January and here's what it looks like afterwards. So you can see the tree now has a full base. <laughs> well, half. Well, it's, it's half the tree, yeah, but it has a full trunk at the bottom now. Um, I did, uh, again, I started working in, the, in that one little spot because I have to show the progress pictures of this as I go through the challenge. And if I kept going cross country, I don't feel that y'all would see a whole bunch of progress because it's just scattered everywhere. So, 
um, I am as far up as I've went as far as the solid part of it that's as far as up above as I'm going because when I'm two hand in extension this arm will not I can't reach all the way to where I had all that confetti up top if y'all are following me so I've decided to the the big chunk that's done now I'm just gonna start working my way over towards the lion and just do like that much of it and then I'll, I can of course scroll it and then I'll start working in the other piece I'll start again one side to the other that's my goal my plan the way I think I want to work it. All right. Um, go ahead. It's on 22 count hard. Hard danger. Um, one of a one is from CrossFit Studio. She worked on it for 12 days and got 7,465 stitches. And the designer of it, uh, the, the artist is Abraham Hunter. So, and I love a lot of his paintings. Oh. He does some gorgeous work. So, there's my humility. Now, um, as far as these big pieces are concerned, now that I'm kind of in a groove with humility, I think I put it away because, I don't know, something deterred me from it. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I have to move my big floor stands all the way into the living room to where my recliner is, which is where I stitch on it. Because, I mean, it's big. And awkward and moving it around the other furniture trying not to knock off the TV and things like that um, but I think I've got a groove as far as how I'm stitching it um, so I'm I say I would I want to continue it and the reason I well I'll get back to that part of it in a minute. okay let's keep going next is October. Mm -mm. Um, I don't know. Did I skip some? Okay. No. All right. November by the Cricut Collection. Here's a picture of what it will look like. And a picture of where you last saw it. And one moment, please. I'm digging. What do I do with it? Hold on. Ah, there it is. I don't know how I'm going to show this because it's a blooming mess. Okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I wasn't prepared. And here it is now. So, I've gotten, or still working on the M. Can't see what I'm doing. Okay, wait. Still working on the M. And I didn't think that this would show up because it is a color and cotton. Oh, I'm sorry, not color and cotton. Silk and color, the thread gatherer. And I almost was worried that it wasn't going to show up on this fabric, but I think it's doing pretty good only because it's got these you know, things around it. So it's, it's making it pop a little bit. This one is Motherland Photo. That's the color of it. So, and you can see it is, even though it doesn't, it doesn't really look variegated, but here you can see it. You can see the little variations in there. Now, <laughs> I would have gotten farther, except this little tree, this is a tree, right here, and that's variegated thread. That's not just confetti and everything. Here, I was, of course, doing straight lines, one cross at a time, and then working back, one cross at a time. Here, I started doing that, and it started, of course, this is all jumbled up, but I'm going to show you anyway, because I undid the whole thing. Hold on, I'm sorry. Oh, I did. I put that on there for a reason. This is another um, thread from Thread Gather called Prairie Grass. 
And as you can see, it is all variegated. It's a jumbled mess, but it is all variegated. Don't worry, it's not got knots in it. So of course, as you know, using variegated threads, one stitch at a time across and then back is going to give you the stripes. I thought to myself when I looked at it, I said, trees aren't striped. So I undid it all and I just started randomly just putting stitches in here, 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 here. I mean, just like, like polka dotting it everywhere until I filled it all in. Now there's still some more I've got to do here. That's the rest of the tree down here. But there's also like here, you see the ones that aren't filled in and those aren't going to fill, be filled in. It's like, you know, when you look at a tree, you can see through it where there aren't any leaves or whatever. Well, that's basically what that is. So I had to really, really watch my pattern and make sure that I didn't fill those in. So, like, I had to do a couple of stitches because it was, I did it so randomly. And as I did a stitch, I had to cross it off of my working copy. Do a stitch, cross it off my working copy. Do a stitch, cross it off my working copy. So, but I wanted the effect that the leaves were all different colors in that tree. Make sense? So, I didn't want to stripe a tree. So, that has kind of taken me a little bit longer than it should have, but I think it's worth it. It's worth that extra little effort of making it look, you know, a tree has, when it turns fall, it's all different colors. And it's all in different spots. So, that's what I wanted it to look like. So, do a fire. Okay. okay. Sorry, my bag fell on the floor. All right. Enough about that. That one. Oh, did you tell them mm -hmm. your stuff? It is on 14 count tied up. Tied up. Eight of coffee, tea dyed, um, roasted peanut. Two of a one, the cricket collection. She was on for one thing, got damn good 70 And that's the coffee, tea dyed. It was white. Yeah, it was white. Uh, uh, coffee tea dyed it for that it is well um, pattern that I did by my big toe designs. Mm -hmm. Okay, what we got next? Um, angel claw stitch. All right. Of course, everybody knows what angel claw stitch is, but here's a picture of her and where you saw her last. And. Not a huge, it is like this, not a huge um, amount done, but I already know this one's going to take me a, a good while to do because it's a lot, a lot, a lot of color changes. Because you know, I use this every DMC floss that there is, except for the variegations and the, the new colors that doesn't use those. So there's that. You want to give them details? Um, it's on 18 count vintage country mocha. mocha. Um, she has one John, John Elliot. John Elliot. John Elliot. She worked on it for one day and got 279 dollars Okay. Good deal. Alright. Hold on, I dropped a three. There's one before him. I know. Let's get that one for a minute. Oh. Oh, we'll go back to him. Well, we'll go back to that one. I wasn't supposed to get that one. We'll go back to that one. It's no big deal. All right. So, our beloved little copper. He's off the key snap, but he's not finished. He's not finished. Um, I did finish the part that was in the key snap, but here's a picture of what he'll look like when we're done. When I'm done. And a picture of where the last time you saw him was and here he is now so now you can really see those flowers in that blanket he was laying on 
Well, he his foot right there I that know. you just pointed is is up underneath him. Yeah, that's how I'm raising. It's yeah. Open. So I did move the Q strap, but because I and this is kind of a long story, but and I won't get into it, but um, the fabric's cut short, not by not by anybody who did cut it. It's because of the way the pattern got sent to me. And I didn't realize it until after I'd already started. But anyway, um, I have moved over. I'll have to do this in hand from now on probably. Because literally this is all I have. And I have about that much over here. of More of the blanket. And then of course up here it'll become a little bit of his body. And But I did just drop down and I started some of the blanket down here. So I don't really know my patent the... My path. I think I want to get this done and kind of work around him because there is more up here. Obviously, you don't want to cut his head off. And there's more down here. This side is done. And you see how much here I have. But um, anyway, there he is so far. It's coming this along. Because I couldn't remember. It looks like I'm doing this on 18 count. You can write that in for me if you want to. And you can go ahead and give him, give details if I have any. He's on 18 count, maybe it's on 18 count. Right A, they're 2 over 1. Um, Threadbear.com. She worked on him for 4 days and got 1,520. Threadbear is the company I use to have him charted. So, and they're great. Okay. The one I skipped over. Bella, you're going to have to help me with this one because okay. it's very awkward. Is Monopoly. And I have found two other false tubers so far that um, uh, are working on this. Craft Cave Dwellers. My name is Angie. She's doing it. And of course, I forgot to write down the other person who's doing it. I've been watching a lot of false tubes. A lot. A lot. Okay, so anyway, of course you know what my ugly looks like, but here's what it was. Here's what it's supposed to look like. And where you last saw it. And all right, hold up that side. Okay, we're gonna try to do this here. <laughs> All right, scoop. All right, you get the idea. Scoop yours. You go that way. I can't move this way. But anyway, straighten it out at the top. All right, it's still halfway on the cue strap. I wasn't gonna redo it, and it's on my uh, stand here. So anyway. There it is. Get it. I don't know how to get a good picture of this because I'll use this as my starting point for next video. Yeah, that's about the best as we can do. So anyway, of course, I've been coming down this side here. And actually, we have more here. Um, this will be the luxury tax. It's got the ring on it. This will be your boardwalk. This will be this go. And then this will be those cheap. Uh, purple ones starting here. So that's where I'm on that. Whew. Um, that one was tough. Back. I know. And I'm sure we're almost done. It's not too, too bad. We always know it. We're going to go about an hour. Alright, now back to that last one. And a pack of details. Huh? A pack of details. Oh, details on Monopoly, sorry. My secretary over here. It's on 28 count, White Lagoon, 2 over 2. She worked on it for two days and got 179 stitches. That would be 1,079 stitches. Thank you. Don't undercut me. Okay. And the last of the whips are, or is, Little Partners. Little Partners by Needle, Needlework Treasures. Yeah. Here's what it will look like when it's done. 
and last time you saw it. And there it is now. And basically I just got some of that dirt put in. I'm so happy there's no more brown. I have some green going in there. Yeah. I had the green in last time, so now I'm putting in some of that dirt down there. That the horses are standing on, so there's that. I know I only did this one one day, but it's on 14 count beige, um, tube of one, needlework treasures. She worked on it for one day and got 493 stitches. Yep, now this one I actually, it was a whip, then. Now I consider it not a whip, and I'm fixing to consider it now, again, a new start. A restart. Sorry. This is the um, One Nation by, um, did I write that down? Bygone Stitches. Bygone Stitches. That I'm doing with um, Louisiana Stitching Girl. I think it's her own. Um, handle Cheyenne and everything was going good on it everything was going good I was on the red you know I started in that bottom right hand corner because she's starting up at the where the stars are so I decided to go catty corner from her and um, this is where I had that, some of that bottom red row done. I had this in the Q-snap, so this is where the Q-snap had ended. So that's where I kind of ended for now. And I work on it again when I move the Q-snap. However, you can barely see. I started and I've already ripped some of this out and I stopped because I wanted to show y'all. You can barely see the white. And it's actually a crew that is called for. Do you see it? It's right there. If I tilt it, you can. But when you're looking at it, you can't see it. And this was on Cafe Olay. Um, I don't remember if it was picture this plush or not. Well, wait, I think I had the... No, I must have took the tag off of it. I don't know if it's picture this plush or not. It's a beautiful fabric, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's a great fabric. It's just, it's too light for that ecru to, to show up. So, back to the drawing board. In fact, I, I sent a picture uh, to Cheyenne and I was like, this ain't gonna work. You can't see it. And I took a picture of it and she said, I didn't even know it was there until you said something that it was actually in the picture. So she couldn't even see it. And then she said, well, why don't you try B5200? And so I did. It still didn't. It still didn't. And I thought about putting some in of the ecru and then adding the next red, just doing a little bit of the red to see if it would make that white pop out a little bit more. But I was like, I, I really, I had no faith in it whatsoever. So I was like, you know what? Nope. I'm not going to do it. So I did... I did work on it this month, but it's now going to be a restart. And I actually emailed Phyllis, I think, at 123Stitch. I can't remember her name now. Anyway, and I told her my dilemma, and I was like, I didn't want linen, because, you know, I don't like linen. I needed a color a little bit darker. And all that. So, anyway, she told me that uh, Country Mocha, Vintage Country Mocha, uh, would work. So, I have another piece of that. And um, I did put the, the colors up to it. And I think it will be a little bit better. Um, I, I thought about changing the crew all together and going with, like, a tan and making the flag look really old, but I was like, I didn't want the stars to look brown. You know what? You know what I mean? 
Like, I still think they should be at least a semi-white. But I would have had to go really dark somehow. Is that Stormy? My other child's taking a nap. She's snoring. We can hear her. I hope y'all don't hear her. <laughs> Stop laughing at your sister. Okay. Um, all right, we gotta get going. We're up to an hour here. Okay, um, we did haul. That was all of the whips, all of my stories. What? Okay, I know. Um, there was actually one other one that was rolled on, I meant spun on the wheel. And I decided to UFO it. Hold on, I'm looking. I'm actually looking for some. Oh, um, did not find it. And I haven't worked on it very much. I don't even know if I've shown it to you since the whip parade, the very first one. Anyway, it's Peace on Earth. And it's a uh, Leisure Arts pattern. A deer on it. I started this years and years and years ago. And the working copy I had was horrible. It was on green paper. And the symbols in this chart are they're colored. Copied it in black and white. However, I don't know if I just missed it or not, but like a lot of these stitches are they are half stitches like right here but they're one strand and like so I got to working on it because it was spun and like all of these brown ones right here are supposed to be one strand and it just doesn't look right because I actually did these crosses right here at one strand so this I don't know I tried to recopy it and make a new working copy on white paper and then I tried and in color ink so I tried to take everything that I had done on this and remark it off it was too much it was too much it was taking me forever and then trying to remember not to mark off the ones that I needed to go back and restitch and I looked at Stormy. Because Stormy, you know, she likes deer and everything. I said, Stormy, is this going to hurt your feelings if I just don't do this one? Because I'm really not. Unless I t do a total restart on it. And, and maybe I will one day. But I was like, this this is ridiculous. I, do, I don't, I don't even want to do this anymore. She looked at me and she said, Mom, she said, you just finished the deer one for me. If you remember my first video, the artisty one called The Getaway, I had just finished that for her. Much more detailed, um, and she loves it. She said, Mom, you just did that one for me, and you're getting ready to do the cow one for me. She's like, it's okay. Don't do it. I'm like, okay. Enough said. So, I don't know. I'll keep the pattern. One pod. I'm probably going to ditch. There might be some salvage. I'm not going to. I'm not going to frog all this. But I may be able to salvage something for a small project or something. Anyway. It's a goner. Not even UFO. It's gone. Done. Over. Not dealing with it anymore. Got it? Good. Let's go. All right, so you want to do, yes. do that now? Um, actually, we can't because they can't roll. We're gonna we're gonna come back. We're gonna do another video, and I'll put the videos together because I have to use my phone for us to draw a winner. Well, we can just announce that one. We have to draw the winner for it. No, wait. Oh, wait. That's not the new one. Never mind. The new ones are up here. How many are we doing this time? Two. We're doing two giveaways. Well, actually three, but... No, two. Two. We're putting these two together. I know. 
The objects. Okay, so um, think of a word for this and think of a word for this. Okay, I'll show them. You think. The first one is going to be Lizzie Cates called Love Crazy. And I did do this one. I believe I did it like this. Of course, it's not finished. It is in the box of unfinished objects. <laughs> not UFOs, but just unfinished things I haven't fully finished. You know what I mean. So anyway, I did this one, but there's a lot of different little ideas on there for you. Um, it does have the flowers, and there's a heart there as well. So there's that. Called Lizzie Kate's Love Crazy. And with that, and you don't definitely don't have to use this for this project, but um, as I was going through my fabric, I found some linen. Some linen. And you know, I'm not I'm not keeping this. This is antique white. This is 28 count. The size of it is 36 and a half by 27 and a half. So this is a fairly I'm not going to undo it all. This is a fairly good size piece of linen. So we are going to put these two together for one giveaway. Do we have a word yet? Love. Love. Love is your word if you would like the Lizzie Kate pattern and the linen that goes along with it. Or that can go. I mean, it matches. You can use it for that. And that one's kind of obvious. Yeah. The second one is, um, this has never been opened. This is called Hogwarts Crest. It's by Personalized Designs. Like, I haven't even opened it, so, like, everything's in here. You have, oh, the kit contains 14-count fabric, the floss, full instructions, and a needle. So, y'all know I'm not into the whole Harry Potter thing, so... If you would like this one, please comment with the word Hogwarts. Hogwarts. That's how you spell it. H-O-G-W-A-R-T-S. Hogwarts. There you go. Full kit. Never open. All right. So if you're interested in those, comment with those words and we'll do those the drawing on our next video for that. Um, at the very end, we'll draw for... Um, the giveaway that we did for December, and that was the two Sue Hillis designs here. So we'll pick a winner for that in a few minutes. I got that. I did that. It takes a little thing. Um, just real quick plans that I have for February. Um, I I think I'm gonna continue on with humility, even though it's not a challenge month. Um. If I don't, I'll be 200 years old before I finish this. So I think I'm going to make that a focus piece. Plus, there within the um, the Cross Stitch Studio Facebook group, we are having a year long challenge um, that you just keep progress of the piece that you're working on. Um, I don't know if there's a prize at the end of the year. I don't know, but anyway, I I sort of. Yes, I started doing that. Hang on. Turn back to that first page. Just, I need that right there. Um, I needed that challenge just to keep focus on it and to keep the motivation on it because I need to work on it. I don't need to work on it every other month. I need to work on it every month. And it is on the wheel. I mean, if we spun it, I'd probably spin it once for a month. But I don't want to do that. This one, because I'm starting so many other larger projects that y'all haven't seen yet that are in the project bags that are ready just haven't started yet but like you know you saw last month I started the nativity so anyway um regardless I'm gonna, I'm gonna just keep working on that one I think and just keep my progress on that of course whip go and um Oh, also on the CrossFit Studio, they have week weekend runs. Um, no prizes or anything. It just, it's a little thing that they do just to 
do a do a push for the weekend on your on your big um crossfit studio design um the only other one i think there is a couple other ones i didn't get the details on it i think primrose cottage is having a little um deal with their new pattern i mean i may throw that in and the colorado stitcher um with her is the winter camp winter stitching camp winter stitching camp is for the month of february and basically you work on a piece that um you're either wanting a collection of like you want to like let's say the designer and um like I, for me i think i'm going to do another piece in the cricket collection um for the the months collection you're following me i'm not explaining this very well but anyway um but it can be anything it can be you know a collection of the patterns that you have for 12 months or whatever um it could be just random patterns but from the same designer that you're wanting to collect um it may be something that you just collect and you just have a cross stitch pattern of it i don't know anyway but uh details are on her website i do believe and so i'm gonna i have to figure out though if it has to be a new start for that collection or I can use October or November because it's a part of the collection or do I have to have a new start for that because I haven't started it yet and then I think there's a hashtag that she wants you to use and I think that is it oh um I've been watching a lot of floss tube and a lot of people have been talking about Bringo. Mm. And I don't know where to go to find out information on that. So if anybody could let me know, please let me know. I'd like to at least check it out. I may not do it because I have all these other challenges and stuff going, but uh, I like to know what it is because this is like, that's like new to me and everybody seems to know what it is. <laughs> and I don't. <laughs> So anyway, if you know about that, let me know. So until then, I think that is it. Hour and a half, I think that's pretty much good for y'all. We should be good. And um, is that all? Mm -hmm. You think? All right. So I'm not gonna say goodbye. Um, you're cold. Mm. I'm warm. Anyway, uh, until next time. Don't forget. Right after this, um, I will be drawing for the the giveaway from last last month's drawing. So don't don't miss that. And I'll um, I guess we will see you March first for everything that we've done in February. So we will see you next time. Bye. Hey, we're back. Um, we just did the random comment picker for the two um, Sue Hillis Design little Christmas truck pattern. And our word for those was truck. Was truck. And we spun. And Marie Smith, you are the winner of those. Um, if you could uh, send me an email with your address in it. And I will get these out to you. And